Let's go back to 2007. Back to a time where everyone was running Windows XP because Vista sucked, where the iPhone was a new and bold idea in tech, and where Kanye West just released Graduation. And gaming, it was about as good as it gets. In 2007, we had Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, Halo 3, Super Mario Galaxy, Bioshock, Portal, and a small little game called Team Fortress 2. Most of the games released in 2007 were not purely multiplayer, but TF2 was one of those games that innovated. Its art style is timeless, its characters are timeless, its soundtrack is timeless. It was really one of the first games to have this free update model as well. Other games like World of Warcraft at the time made you pay for updates and extra content and branded it as a expansion pack. So whenever Valve added things for free, it was a welcome addition. And as TF2 grew and grew, it got free to play and added so many more major updates practically every year, from adding weapons to adding entire game modes. The last major update we received was Jungle Inferno. Jungle Inferno, by most major update standards, was pretty mediocre. We saw some weapons that barely anyone uses outside of memeing, and a lot of stupid balancing choices. But at least it was an update, right? If you're like me and watch a lot of TF2 YouTubers, the heavy update gets brought up a lot, like an obsessive amount. People theorizing about what the update could be, or just falsely saying it'll come soon with Twitter accounts dedicated to seeing if the update has been released yet. It's pretty clear that the community wants something. Even when we do get small updates, literal bug fixes, the community seem to care so much. And no matter how small the update is, we're always met with, at least Valve care about us, right? Valve don't care about us as a community. They keep doing Scream Fortress, Smithmas, whatever, because it's guaranteed revenue for the company. At this point, it's practically on autopilot, since they don't play tester maps because, well, whatville. These free minor updates keep the illusion that they haven't abandoned the game entirely. Even for new cases, they just write over the old ones. And this gets into the way that Valve works. This booklet was released in 2012. It's a handbook for new employees of Valve, and it leads us to understand the culture of the company. A lot of people like to say Valve is a billion dollar company, why can't they assign employees to work on TF2? Well, unlike Nintendo, EA or whatever, Valve lets you pick what you want to work on, which on paper sounds great, but in reality leads to almost every single Valve employee working on stuff like VR, because it'd look great on their resume and it's just fun to work on. I mean, who the hell wants to deal with this toxic community and update a game from 2007 with spaghetti coat? And whatever they bring out is never going to hit the expectations that we as a community have. And well, the dates kind of speak for themselves. And I'm not here to shield Valve from criticism. I think that they deserve it, a lot of it. For a billion dollar company, it's kind of embarrassing that they've let this game get this bad. A lot of creators are now talking about how content is hard to make for TF2, which I disagree. TF2 is a really diverse game. We've got entire channels built up on topics like MVM or competitive. As a game, we don't need another major update. We need a bot fix, but who knows about that? Walking with my back to the sun, keep my head to the sky. 